Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. So this is for the sign of Libra for the first half of January 2019. Um, or this could, you know, these events could be in play at the time that you watch this video. So whenever that is for you. Um, I would like to just take a moment to wish everyone a very happy new year. Please um, keep in mind these are general readings, so they will not resonate with each and every one of you. So let's begin. I feel this has to do with um, someone from your past. Now, understand that this could go either way. This could be you, could be them. Um, somebody is carrying a lot of guilt about a separation, okay, um, with these cards here. It's like something that's been following them for quite some time almost haunting them you know you can see this person <laughs> you can see the lightning coming here and they're just like running they can't take it anymore the only way through the only way out of this is by confessing so but they may fear being judged with the inquisition here um whoever this is whether this is you or them um, they want to bring this relationship back because this is the magician in this deck. You can clearly see that he has his spell book open. You can see the skull over here and he wants to bring something back to life. Most likely fantasizes about that with the mother being beneath. So this was a relationship uh, in the past that um, you or they um, may have felt that there was some sort of deception with the magician sitting on this. Here we have our Knight of Cups and the, uh, or Knight of Love in this deck. And the eight of shields so this is an offer of love and this is a commitment but there was some sort of deception that somebody felt surrounding this relationship now um and this is why you guys separated over here whatever the deception was somebody's feeling guilty for it and it's a guilt that sits and it it, it just brews and it grows uh, it doesn't leave them alone. This person is going to come forward, okay? Um, <clears throat> here we have the Lady of Wisdom. So something gets revealed, and this has to do with a situation or a person from the past. And this Eight of Cups from the Before Tarot. So the eyes of the moon are closed. So something wasn't seen. What was that? Um, because here we see somebody, this is actually called one for the road. Um, all of these cups are empty. So somebody might have got bored in the relationship. Um, somebody might have felt that um, it was like um, somebody maybe holding back emotionally, not giving to the relationship. And so the other person just walked away. This is a card in this deck that speaks to... Um, it's like, especially with these cards sitting here, it's like it was a temporary success, <clears throat> but like it, it didn't last long. Somebody's interest um, uh, faded or declined. Um, it speaks to a troubled relationship. 
uh, it could be that somebody uh, had a fear of commitment with this card. So it can also say that, you know, somebody was unhappy with the situation um, and walked away. Now, sitting in the present moment, there's some sort of um, some sort of news. It could be a message, um, some sort of enlightenment. I'll use that word. Comes to you. In this card here, we see this Queen of Wands and she's reaching for this sunflower which is like it's it's almost like an offering that somebody's left at her feet she's reaching for it she wants it and you see the cat is looking up and um, the cat for me would represent her intuition looking up and it seems to be rather suspicious at the flower at the offering so um, it's coming with the moon. So she, although she wants it, you see, she wants this offering. Um, she may be suspicious about it. And, and clearly we see the offering. It sits just beneath her and he is looking up. So he's holding his cup, his cup up at this queen. And here we see the cup being held out in the card of the magician. But we also see the snake wrapped around his neck. So, an offer from this relationship that clearly didn't work in the past because of, um, well, for some reason that somebody knows about because they're carrying the guilt for it. Um, and they fear being judged. So obviously this person knows what they've done. But this queen here is suspicious, right? She wants the offer. She's suspicious. Go up here now to these cards. We have the nine of love in the reverse. So this is a card of knowing when to speak and when to be silent because you know if you speak up, you might make things worse. So you choose not to speak, okay? This has to do with the apparella mantam, which would be uh, equal to temperance in the um, regular tarot and speaks to healing of all things. So healing of a relationship most likely a, um, a reconciliation. So there's definitely going to be some sort of, of um, conversation that's going to happen about a reconciliation, but you may fear some sort of deception or that it is uh, once again um, insincere, um, somebody insincere, somebody uh, whose words fall empty, um, whose promises you can't really rely on, you know? So um, you're not trusting the situation. Now, if we move up here, um, we have the Eight of Wisdom in the reverse. So uh, in the reverse, uh, well, there you go. This card, so what this card is talking about also, empty words, empty promises, okay? Um, from this person that you had broke up with, that you had this separation with, they're coming back, okay, seeking some sort of forgiveness or offering up some sort of explanation and want your understanding. And, you know, even though they fear here that you're going to judge them. Um, and here we have the tower in the before tarot. So this hasn't happened yet. But I feel that because it is sitting in your thoughts, it's something you fear that could happen with regards to um, 
this reconciliation or possibility of one. But yet you want it for sure. Now, in the immediate future, we see that you do have the opportunity. Okay, this is an excellent card, is very lucky, it's one of the best cards in this deck. Okay, so an opportunity, a new opportunity to heal a relationship. Okay, and it is something that you have been wishing for. We have the card of strength, so there's some sort of challenge here that you uh, will have to face. And I, I feel that th this is having to do with your fears um, because um, this is a card of uh, facing your fears. You see this woman is standing very strong and very confident in face of this lion who's roaring at her, teeth bared. So, we have this card of rebuilding here, too. And look at that. We have the star with that. So, this is a wish. Here we have the offer. So, this is a new offer being dropped into this cup. It's something that you have been waiting on. Now, this offer has not left the ground yet. You see here we have the, um, the bird trainer, and he's got his falcon, and he's looking at the message but he has not attached it to the uh, to the falcon yet to send it out. So this is news that is coming about a relationship. Something you've been waiting on. You see, you have the falcon here, okay, getting ready to take off. And you have it coming directly to this person who's been waiting. This news is about a new offer of love, something you've been wishing for to rebuild. It's all right here. And here we have this reaching for the relationship. So that is what I have for you. That's where uh, you, the energy that whoever this is for, this is where you're sitting. Um, you have this offer coming in. Um, there are some fears surrounding this because of things that happened in the past. Um, this person, I feel, is going to offer some sort of clarity with regards to that, okay? Because we do have Lucifer here. Um, yeah. But they also uh, fear being judged. So that is what I have for you. I hope this helps someone and I wish you all the best. I thank you so much for watching and many blessings to you. Bye for now.